Morning everybody. Uh, this is going to be a quick uh, tutorial on using Zotero for the first time. Um, hopefully, hopefully you've got it installed now. If you don't, you need to follow the directions to get it installed. And if you have any trouble with that, please post a message on the help board. Uh, in general, if you're struggling with t technical issues in the course, uh, like finding a link, that kind of technical issue, um, though the best place to, to post a question about it is on the help board. I'll get an automatic alert when you do that through my email, so hopefully I'll uh, be able to see it and answer it quickly. All right, um, I had said in the syllabus overview videos that I was going to think about the textbook, see if I could find alternatives that were free. Uh, unfortunately, I really couldn't. I, I did quite a bit of looking at various websites and various individual web pages for specific topics in the course. I found most of them to be confusing and incomplete, and I felt that um, if you were, if I was to give you those sites as the basis for our work, you would be pretty confused as the semester went on. So I am going to ask you to buy the Macmillan book, and I am going to put a link to it at least for Amazon, the Amazon link to it on the D2L website. Um, in the meantime, since it's probably take you several days to get the book, I will ask you to, uh, I will make a PDF of the first chapter of the book and post it onto D2L. All right, really did try because I, I feel like um, it would be nice to be able to use free resources, uh, but I really think it'll make the class better for you to have the textbook. All right, so now we're going to do the um, use Zotero. All right, so here's, uh, I, I gave you the link to get to this page of citations in Google Scholar, and the first one that comes up or should come up on this page is a meta-analysis of co-teaching research, where are the data, All right? You notice I have, I'm in Firefox right now, and I have Zotero installed, and you can see it right there with the Z. If I click Zotero, um, you see my, uh, all of my Zotero citations, and I have, I think I said in a previous video, I have about 3,000 of them on teacher reflection. Um, I've made a new folder for myself called Meta-Analysis, where I'm, I've am i been downloading a, just a few meta-analysis, including this one on co-teaching. I selected the co-teaching meta-analysis, believe it or not, because I found it to be a very straightforward and easier to read article than many of the articles that we're going to see uh, throughout the semester, especially those on meta-analysis, which can be somewhat uh, somewhat technically difficult. All right. Also, because it's a topic that I think is easy to understand, two people teaching together, and is that better or worse? I've already added the citation in here from Zotero, but I'm going to delete it now so you can see how this works. Um, since I'm in Zotero and I'm in, I've got the folder selected where I'm going to put this, when I add Zotero, add the item in using Zotero, uh, it's automatically going in the folder that I have selected. You probably don't have a list of folders in your Zotero account right now, and so it'll just go in the main directory. Right? So if I come back here um, to the Google site, you'll see that I have this little icon, looks like a folder, uh, in my URL bar. I guess that's what it's called. So if I click that, you'll see it brings up all these different citations, which are all the citations that are on the Google Scholar page. I could select all and have them all sucked into Zotero right away, but I only want to have the one uh, article pulled in. So I do that, I say okay. There's a little notification up here that it's saving. Um, and in this case, it's saving the PDF. We'll talk later about what to do if the PDF doesn't come with it. Uh, just trying to get you with initial experience with it right now. And there you see I have it right there. If I open this up, there's the PDF, and I can read the article. Right? Awesome. Um, so I want you to do that because I want you to read this article. We're going to do some activities with it in class. So you need to understand, have a basic understanding of the article. But also because we're going to do more and more with Zotero in class, and I want you to have this one experience outside of class using Zotero for the first time. All right, thanks, everybody.